in this video i am going to discuss about wedge shaped film okay now let us see and we have already discussed about films film is a something which is having a thickness of about few nanometers and it is having refractive index mu okay now in this video let us discuss about wedge shaped film that is wedge shaped film is a, a thin film having zero thickness at one end progressively to a particular thickness at the other end is called wedge that is here i'm going to draw a wedge shape that is here initially it is having zero thickness and gradually it is having increasing thicknesses here t is equals to 0 and here t is equals to i'm going to take it as a t dash is equals to 0 and here t dash is equals to t okay now let us see that is a thin film a thin wedge of air film can be formed by two glass slides placed with a piece of paper between them at one end that is let us suppose if we have two glass slides and here I am going to place I am going to place a piece of paper at one end this is the paper I am going to place at one end then here we are going to observe that a thin air film is formed air film is formed here here I am going to consider a wedge shaped air film which is formed here and let us suppose a light ray a b incident on thin film and here i'm going to draw a normal here some part of light is gets reflected and i'm going to denote it by bc and some part of the light gets transmitted and i'm going to denote it by b f and here i'm going to draw normal and here also same some part of it gets reflected and when it incident on top face of the thin film here some part of the light gets reflected and some part of it gets transmitted and here i'm going to denote it by d and the transmitted light by d e 
here we can observe that there are two reflected light waves BC and DE here BC and DE are two reflected light waves on top of the wedge shaped thin film and here on top side we are going to observe that there is no phase change of pi here the incident light wave that is AB incident on lower face of the glass slide because of this we are going to observe that there is no phase change and here the light wave BF incident on top face of the glass slide because of this here this is the air fill and this is the medium because of this here we are going to observe that there is phase change of pi and for small film of thickness these reflected rays interfere and produce dark or bright fringes depending on the phase shift and one more thing the optical path difference and we already derived optical path difference in case of reflected light and I am going to use optical path difference that is the optical path difference between the two rays BC and DE is given by delta is equals to 2 mu t cos r minus lambda by 2 ok now let us see what is normal incidence that is here in these two cases the incident light wave makes an angle of refraction theta where theta is not is equals to 0 and here in this case the incident light wave makes an angle of refraction which is angle of refraction is equals to 0 and when theta is equals to 0 then we are going to call this situation as a normal incidence here angle of refraction theta is equals to 0 for normal incidence r is equals to 0 so cos r is equals to 1 so we can write above equation as a delta is equals to 2 mu t minus lambda by 2 and let us denote this equation by 1 this is the optical path difference between two reflected light waves when it is for normal incidence that is r is equals to 0 ok now let us write condition for bright and dark fringes in case of wedge shaped film here and from Engs double slit experiment we know that condition for maxima is path difference is equals to m lambda or here I am going to substitute path difference value then we have 2 mu t minus lambda by 2 is equals to m lambda or we can write it as a 2 mu t is equals to here I am going to take lambda common then we are going to get m plus 1 by 2 this is the condition for maxima and I am going to denote this equation by 2 and also similarly for minima from Engs double slit experiment we have path difference is equals to 2 m plus 1 lambda by 2 here I am going to substitute delta value that is here 2 mu t 
minus lambda by 2 is equals to 2m plus 1 lambda by 2 here I am going to take minus lambda by 2 on right side then we are going to get 2 mu t is equals to here it is 2m lambda by 2 it is lambda by 2 becomes 2m into lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 here plus lambda by 2 minus lambda by 2 becomes plus lambda by 2 here we can write it as a 2m into lambda by 2 plus lambda or we can write it as a m plus 1 into lambda 2 mu t is equals to m plus 1 into lambda this is the equation for minima and I am going to denote this equation by 3 and one more thing we know that m is an integer and hence we consider m plus 1 can also be and and hence m plus 1 is also taken as an integer that is here I am going to write this equation as a 2 mu t is equals to m into lambda and I am going to denote this equation by 4. This is the condition for minima. Okay, now we have derived condition for minima. Minima that is 2 mu t is equals to m lambda. Okay, now let us derive expression for fringe width. That is beta. Here I am going to here I am going to consider a wet shaped film that is wet shaped film and it is having angle theta and I am going to divide I am going to take dark fringes these lines represents the dark fringes and it is having thickness t1 and it is having a thickness t2 and t3 so on here i am going to denote these points a here i am going to draw a line here also here a triangle is formed and i am going to denote these points a b c and here C, D, E and these angles are also theta. Here we have used corresponding angles that is two parallel lines that is these are two parallel lines and here one transverse line passes through these two parallel lines and here angles are formed these angles are equal this corresponding angle concept we are going to use in wedge shaped thin film that is this is the wedge shaped thin film and here I am going to take three different parts and it is having angle theta here I am going to draw one line parallel line and this is the other parallel line and this is the angle here also it makes an angle these angles are equal to theta we are going to use this corresponding angle concept in our discussion and these are dark fringes this is also dark these three are dark fringes 
and here let us suppose if the thickness of the film at a is denoted by t1 then we can write condition for minima is 2 mu t1 is equals to m lambda this is the condition for first dark fringe okay and let us denote this equation by 6 and let us write and let us suppose the next dark fringe will occur at C and let us write here the next dark fringe occur at C and it is and its thickness is denoted by T2 then the condition for minima or the condition for dark fringe is 2 mu T2 is equals to M plus 1 into lambda this is the next bright fringe condition here then I am going to subtract and let us denote this equation by 7 ok now I am going to subtract these two equations that is equation 7 minus 6 then we are going to get here 2 mu is common so I am going to take it as outside then t2 minus t1 is equals to this is m lambda plus lambda it is minus m lambda here m lambda m lambda get cancel each other then we are going to get 2 mu t2 minus t1 is equals to lambda and here in this diagram difference of thickness that is t2 minus t1 is equals to b c b c these two thickness difference is b c so i am going to write in place of t2 minus t1 i am going to write b c then this equation becomes 2 mu b c is equals to lambda or b c is equals to lambda divided by 2 mu and let us represent this equation by 8 and in this triangle tri in triangle a b c it is the angle theta here angle c a b is equals to theta that is in triangle a b c here angle c a b is equals to theta and here b c by that is opposite side divided by adjacent side gives the tan theta that is tan theta is equals to b c divided by a b and here I am going to write for b c b c is equals to tan theta into a b but a b is the a b is distance between two successive dark fringes that is a b is distance between two successive 
dark fringes and we are going to denote AB by beta. Beta is the fringe difference. Then above equation becomes BC is equals to tan theta into beta. And I am going to substitute BC value from equation 8. Then we are going to get beta is equals to lambda divided by 2 mu into tan theta and for small angle approximation small angle approximation tan theta is nearly is equals to theta then we are going to get fringe width by beta is equals to lambda divided by 2 mu into theta. This equation represents the fringe width. And for bright fringe also it is same. Okay, this is all about wedge shaped film and expression for the fringe width in case of wedge shaped thin film.